time will shelter. When Chapman Billies leave the street and trothy neighbors neighbors meet, as markets days are weary late, and folk begin take the gate, while we sit pausing at the nappy and getting foul and unco happy, we think nay on the Lang Scots miles, the mosses, the waters, slaps and styles that lie between us and our hame. Where sits our sulky, sullen dame, Gathering her brows like the gathering storm, Nursing her wrath to keep it warm. This truth fond honest Tom will shanter, As he fray ere a night did canter. Old air, why ne'er a town surpasses For honest men and bony lasses. O oh, Tom, Hast thou but been say wise, as tain thy ain wife Kate's advice? She taught thee weel thou wast a skeelum, a belethering, belustering, drunken belethum, that fray in November till October, a market day thou was nae sober. That ilka metered we the miller, thou sat as long as thou had siller. That every nag was caid at shoe on, the smith and the cat roaring foul on. That as the Lord's house, even on Sunday, thou drank with Kirkton, Jean, till Monday. She prophesied that late or soon thou would be found deep, drooned in dune, or catch it with warlocks in the murk. And by Alloway's old haunted kirk. A gentle dame's is gares me greet, to think how many counsels sweet, how mony lengthened sage advices the husband fray the wife despises. But to our tale a market night, tame, got planted unco right, fast by an ingle, bleezing finely, why, reaming swats that drank divinely, and at his elbow sauter Johnny, his ancient trusty drowthy crony, Tom lured him like a very blither. They had been foul for weeks together. The night drave on with sangs and clatter, and a the ale was growing better. The landlady and tame grew gracious, with favors sweet secret and precious. The souter told his queerest stories. The landlord's laugh was ready coarse. The storm, without might rare and rustle, Tom did not mind the storm a whistle. Care mad to see a man say happy, in drown himself among the nappy. As bees flee hame with ladies a treasure, the minutes winged their way with pleasure. Kings may be bleased, but Tom was glorious over odd ills of life victorious. But pleasures are like poppies spread. You seize the flower, its bloom is shed. Or like the snow falls in the river, a moment white then melts forever. Or like the Boreas race, that fit air you can point their place. Or like the rainbow's lovely form, a vanishing amid the storm. Nay man can tether time or tide. The hour approaches, Tom, mon ride. That hour on night's black arch the key stain. That dreary hour he mounts his beast in. And sick a night, he takes the road in as near poor sinner as it rolled in. The wind blew as Todd blown its last, the rattling showers roan on the blast, the speedy gleams the darkness swallowed, loud deep and lang the thunder bellowed. That night a child might understand, the deal had business on his hand. Wheel mounted on his gray mare Meg, a better never lifted leg. Tom skip it on through dub and mire, despising wind and rain and fire, 
whilst holding fast his good blue bonnet, whilst crooning over some old Scots sonnet, whilst glowering round with prudent cares, lest boggles catch him unawares. Kirk Alloway was drawing nay, where ghasts and hoolets nightly cry. By this time he was crossed the ford, where in the snaw the chapmen moored, and past the burks and milky stain, where drunken Charlie break next bane, and throw the weans and by the cairn, where hunters feign the murdered bairn, and near the throne aboon the well, where Mungle's mither hanged herself. Before him Dune pours all his floods, the Dublin storm roars through the woods, the lightnings flash from pole to pole, near and more near the thunders roll, when glimmering through the groaning trees, Kirk Alloway seemed in a breeze. Through Ilka bore the beams were glancing, and loud resounding mirth and dancing, inspiring bold John Barleycorn, what dangers thou cast make us scorn. Why tippany we fear na evil, with a sapi we'll face the devil. The sweet say reamed in Tammy's noodle, fair play he cared, na deals a boodle. But Maggie stood right sair astonished, till by the heel in hand admonished. She had ventured forward on the light, and vow Tom saw an uncouth sight. Warlocks and witches in a dance, nay, cotillion, brand new Flay France. But hornpipes, jigs, straith sprays, and wheels, put life and metal in the hands. The Linux bunker in the east, there sat old Nick in shape of beast. A towsy tight black grin and large, to give them music was his charge. He screwed the pipes in Gartham's girl, till roof and rafters I did durl. Coftons stood round like open presses, that sawed the dead in their last dresses. And by some devilish cantrip sight, each in its cold hand held a light, by which heroic Tom was able to note upon the holly table. A murderer's banes it gibbet errands, Twa span lane we and Christian bairns. A thief ne cooted flay a rape, with his last grasp he gaped it gape. Five tomahawks will blued red rusted, five sycamores with murder crusted. A garter with a babe had strangled, a knife a father's throat had mangled, whom his ain son o' life bereft. The gray hairs yet stacked to the heft, with mare all horrible and awful, which even to name was be unlawful. Three lawyers' tongues turned inside out, with lies seemed like a beggar's clout. Three priests' hearts rotten black as muck, lay stinking vile in ever nook, as Tammy glowered amazed and curious. The mirth and fun grew fast and furious. The piper loud and louder blew. The dancers quick and quicker flew. They reeled, they set, they crossed, they click it. Till ink caring, swat and reek it. And coosed her dubbies to the work. And Lincoln at her, Cirque. Now Tom, oh Tom, had then been the queens a plump and strapping in their teens. Their sarks instead o' cleesh and flannin, Been saw white seventeen hundred linen. Thar bleaks o' mine, my only pair, That ain't were plush, o' oh good blue hair. I wad high gain them off my hurdies, For a blink o' the bonny birdies, But withered bellums, odd and droll, With woody hags, Wad spleen a fall, looping and flinging on a crummock. I wonder did I turn my stomach, but Tom Ken 
what was what fought brawly there was on winsome wench and wally that night enlisted in the corps laying after kent on Kellogg's shore for money a beast to dead she shot and perished money a bony bot and shook both mickets corn and bear and kept the countryside and fair her cootie shark o paisley heron that whilst a lassie she had worn in longitude thou sorely scanty it was her best and she was vaunty O oh, little she kent thy reverend granny, that shark she croft, for he we nanny. We twy pone Scots, twas of her riches, wad ever graced a dance of witches. But here my muse her wing mon cure, sick flights are far beyond her power. To sing how nanny lap and flang, a supple jade she was and strang, and how Tom stood like a on bewitched, and thought his very een enriched. Even Satan glowered and fidgeted for fawn, and hotched and blew with might and mon, till first a caper, sin a nither, Tom tints his reason together, and roars out, Well done, cootie shark. And in an instant all was dark, and scarcely had he Maggie railed, when out the hellish legion sailed, as bees biz out with angry fake, when plundering herds assailed their bike, as open pussy's mortal foes, when pop she starts before their nose, as eager runs the market crowd, when catch the thief resounds aloud, so Maggie runs the witches follow, with money and egg and screech and hollow. O oh, Tom, O oh, Tom, thou get thy fairdom, in the hell they'll roast thy like a heron. In vain thy Kate awaits thy coming, a Kate soon will be a woeful woman. Now do thy speedy utmost, Meg, and win the keystain o' oh, the brig. There at them thou thy tail my toss, a running stream they dare nigh cross. But ere the keystain she could make, the faint tail she had to shake. For Nanny, far before the rest, hard upon noble Maggie pressed, and flew at Tom with furious ettle, but little wist she Maggie's mettle, and spring brought off her master hail, but left behind her a grain tail. The Carlin clawed her by the rump, and left poor Maggie scarcely a stump. No why this tale of truth shall read, ill command and mother's son to take heed, whether to drink you are inclined, or cootie sharks run in your mind, think ye may buy joys or dear, but remember Tom Washanter's mare. <laughs> the end. <laughs>